Hey everybody, you're looking at a canopy to the Revel 172nd scale B36 model. Arguably the biggest model ever built, or plastic model ever built. I know it was for a very long time. People were always talking about how big it is. 172nd scale means that one inch on this model represents 72 inches on the real aircraft. And so that is a one-to-one -one scale or full scale canopy. Let's see if we can do this. Something like that. Anyways, humidity today is 36% uh, with the colder weather coming. The humidity is not going to be relevant, but we'll see where that goes. It's nice. Doesn't feel like it's almost 90 degrees. I got a nice super chat donation today. I thank you very much for that. Just keep in mind, you guys, if you send me a super chat, it takes sometimes a month or two for me to actually see that money to where I can use it on the B36. The GoFundMe is the much better option. I get that in 48 to 72 hours. But thank you. Thank you so much. Here's what I got done today. Began constructing bulkhead one, not one, huh, 3.1. It's just loosely up there. I didn't measure anything. I just eyeballed it. Tomorrow I'll go back and position things exactly where they need to be. What's crazy is how strong the structure is. Of course, it's with this triangulation, but I... I could probably sit on this thing, but it's crazy how just rigid it is already. Of course, I still got to put the shelf up here, shelf down here, but just, just, you know, those two rivets on the back and the four rivets there, it's wild. This is the uh, top of the radio operator compartment. These stringers are 24 inches long. After this, there'll be 48 more inches of ceiling. However, instead of using these stringers, it transitions to frames. And there'll be a wall here with all the radio equipment down towards the bottom, because unfortunately the, the floor is really far down there still. It's about, what is this, four feet? It's, it's probably another four to six feet down there. I'd probably fall and hurt myself if I were to drop from this height. I wish I could find the antenna that mounts right there. It's kind of like a mount and then it's got a six foot whip antenna that goes up there. And I said it once, I'll say it again, about right there is where the big AN104B, I think it is, antenna that goes up like that. I could make one out of wood, cover it with aluminum, identical to that, but I'd rather have as many genuine articles as I can possibly incorporate into this thing. Hopefully I can get some skin on here and then start working on this area. There's something going on here that I don't entirely like, but I won't know what that is until I start constructing this. I do know that for a fact that these need to go in to about there because you've got one or two fuselage frames that go up right there. And right there that'll create a flat 
probably ties into that. That'll create a flat surface to continue the skin up to wherever it goes. I have no information about like, right here. This is a, a complete void. I think that's about it. Don't think I'm forgetting anything. It's been a pretty pretty laid back day. I know I said, uh, what was it yesterday, a couple days ago that I wasn't gonna give any updates for a couple, three days, but here I am. Hopefully the aluminum will be here tomorrow for the uh, flight deck floor. I uh, replaced the jaws in my power shears, so I'm ready to go. Hi to all my subscribers. Welcome to the show. Thanks for all the awesome comments you guys are giving me. I'll see y'all next time.